this concrete's got a slope that way the water can run off to this side um, and uh, we're going to take a look at that detail which is really good minimum in texas minimum if you're going to have a footing 12 inches deep and then a four inch slab but you can tell he wanted it a little bit raised up for uh, for his build here so let's take a look at this built highly recommend it's a four inch slab uh, for a build like this in texas uh, minimum 12 inches deep uh, for your footing and it's all with rebar so we got the plans for that how to build it um, all the specs for that but one thing that i highly that we're going to highly recommend when it comes down to your concrete is to have a notch um, there's going to be two options a notch and then just simply having a sloped um, edge uh, but this one's the notch and this one was done really really good if you do this it's gonna do you very well however there's some risk to it and we'll be speaking about it but first let's check out how great this notch is so if you notice the notch here it's about an inch and a half uh, drop and so all the water you can see right there how it's still kind of wet where from the overhang we still got some of that um, you know falling on the edge but the notch is what's preventing all that water from going that way and that's why this concrete was very very well built and then even here the panel is dropping on the outside of the of the of the of the concrete so there's just no way that that water is going to go in i mean you got about an inch and a half um, you know rise from there so this is very very perfect and something that it's highly recommended now here customer could do like a little slope but it's really not necessary um, you know he's driving in his truck you notice his truck so really not a big problem Now, what is the risk about that? Let me try to get away. I know there's a gentleman working out. There's actually the concrete guy. But what is the risk about doing the notch like that? The risk is that if it's not accurate, we could have problems with the construction aspect. Because when we come, we come after the concrete's been set. And so that concrete needs about seven days to 28 days to cure. All depends on the mix and stuff, but it's recommended minimum, minimum a week, minimum. Um, but really, you know, it should be about 28 days. However, the building is exactly 40 by 60. If your concrete's not squared, then we're gonna have problems. And that's the risk about doing the notch, um, as opposed to the other recommendations. So stay in touch, but this is the concrete notch, and I highly, highly recommend it. Concrete something I like to talk about so you can build it right um, here this concrete's got a slope that way the water can run off to this side um, and uh, we're gonna take a look at that detail which is really good minimum in Texas minimum if you're gonna have a footing 12 inches deep and then a four inch slab but you can tell he wanted it a little bit raised up for uh, for his build here so let's take a look at this This is how I recommend, if you notice, it's got the, the, uh, the slope, that way any water that tries to go in, it will be sloping away from it. Um, and then what I love about it is that there's the rays right here. Look at this. And that's how the panel is overlapping so the water doesn't come in. And uh, it's just perfectly done. So if you look here, the panel, it's uh, you know overlapping the slab, which is perfect, perfect for this. 